Well, this is sad. Eight people die in Texas. Uh, nine are injured after a person uh, runs over a bunch of asylum seekers. Another person has died in Brownsville, Texas, after a driver ran over asylum seekers waiting at a bus stop near a migrant shelter. At least eight people have now died. Nine more are injured. CBS 2's Tim McNicholas has been following this heartbreaking story. He has the latest developments. Surveillance video from just before the crash shows about 20 people waiting at a bus stop. We are not airing the graphic parts of the video, so we froze the clip just before a Range Rover went over the curb and ran over several people in the group. At least some of the victims have been staying just across the street from the bus stop at the Ozanam Center, a homeless shelter that has been housing asylum seekers in the city of Brownsville near the southern border. An asylum seeker from Venezuela who was at the bus stop told a CBS affiliate station that the driver sped up when he saw the group of migrants. A woman in a white car came by and said for us to move and another car behind her came toward us at full speed yelling profanities at us and ran us over. Brownsville is an epicenter for migration across the U.S.-Mexico border. The city is expecting another influx of asylum seekers as the pandemic era border restriction known as Title 42 is set to end on May 11th. According to um a couple laws signed uh, that U the United States has signed on to with the UN. Uh, technically, they weren't actually allowed to uh, deny people asylum during COVID. And also, according to their own domestic laws about asylum seekers. Shelter manager Mirna Artiaga says the migrants at the bus stop were leaving Brownsville to settle in other cities. They have their 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 flights and their and their bus tickets ready to leave. So we had like probably like 20 of our our residents um, cross the street to go to their destination to their bus station to to leave today, and. Um, I think somebody just passed by and just ran him over, and it was really sad. Brownsville police say they are still investigating whether the crash was intentional. They have not released the driver's name and describe him only as a Hispanic man and a Brownsville resident. Police say the Range Rover rolled over after he ran over the victims. At that point, he exited the vehicle. It is unknown whether he tried to flee or not, but several of the people here actually detained him and were able to keep him detained until officers got there and actually arrested him. Okay, those people were able to detain the dude and not kill him. Why was that? Surprise, surprise.